First of all, our Optonite brand, so Enserve and Instinct, have been actually proven for over 40 years. Uh, but some of the recent data and stuff that we've actually been working with is Purdue. Um, and they did a lot of field scale studies with us last year. And actually one of the best results we had was split um, Instinct, so 12 ounces followed by 12 ounces, um, with split UAN applications. So actually starting to break up those applications and it gives us a little longer life or window. Um, and it came with a nice 10 bushel yield advantage with them last year. So we're actually unique. So Utricia N is actually a, an above ground product for us. So it lives in the stomachs of the plant. And so what's unique about it is we're not living below ground like some of the other nitrogen biological products. So they operate totally differently. And the benefit there is that as we look at it as a systems approach, right, or a whole acre type approach, is that it does have that additional nitrogen source for us later in the season. Um, it's, you know, non-synthetic N, being that it can pull that atmosphere again and fixate it for an ammonium for the plant. So it is kind of a unique blend that you can, you know, still be stabilizing your, your synthetic end below ground with Optonite and then using Utricia N for kind of that above ground biological nitrogen product. With our product, not necessarily. Um, I think you still got to go back to the basics, right, of 70% of our loss happens below ground. So how we get there isn't necessarily important as much as make sure that we're stabilizing it once it is there. Right, so it can go either culture or wide drop to make sure that we're stabilizing it below ground. Good. So a lot of that timing was done like V6 to V8 time frame, so that side dress application time frame. Uh, personally, I lean a little more early than I do late just because I want to make sure it is in that root zone for the plant to utilize when it needs it. Um, you know, 40% roughly of corns and nitrogen is tassel and after, and so it's got to be in the root zone for it to be able to take it up. As farmers look, um, you know, hydrus continues to have pressure on it, right? So I would say as a whole, um, you know, UAN and urea continues to kind of grow in that market space. Um, the geography I personally cover is still very heavy in hydrus, so it's still focused more towards the NSERV side, but Instinct is definitely a growth brand for us, um, and it is growing because of that difference in, in fertilizer types. More information, go to nutrientmaximizers.com.